Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a very crazy game. This game was played between Jose Royas and Herminio Herais Hidalgo in 1995 in Matalas Canas and I have to tell you that I'm just publishing this game for entertainment. Let's see what happened on the board. Jose Reyes was playing with the white pieces opened up with f3 and Herais Hidalgo responded with e5. Here of course Jose Reyes didn't go for g4 but instead he made another crazy move, he played king f2. I have to tell you that at the time of this game white's rating was 21, 35 and I'm sure that he was just trolling his opponent, he was higher rated. Black's rating is 20 to 60. And now let's see how will Black punish his opponent for this stupid, yeah, let's call this stupid for the stupid moves. Knight c6 by Herais Hidalgo, d3 f5, g3 knight f6, a3, and we have bishop c5 check. Bishop e3, queen e7, Queen d2 and a powerful move f4. Yes, Blake's strategy is very accurate. When your opponent is playing such stupid openings, you have to open up the position as quickly as possible in order not to allow opponent's king to occupy a safe shelter. Here white played bishop takes c5, queen takes c5 check and king e1. Well, if you move like king g2, then Blake can play knight d5 with Knight e3 threat, of course, this can be very unpleasant for white, that's why in our game we have king e1. Knight d4, the threat is knight takes c2 check, that's why white played knight c3, and this time we have knight d5. Both black wants to lure away white knight, and also black knight is eyeballing on e3 square. Here we have knight h3, and there it goes, knight e3 is on the board. Black's position is totally winning. Rook c1, d5. Knight f2 and play castles kingside. Knight d1. White's position simply looks miserable. a5, not even allowing any possible b4 moves. Knight takes e3, f takes e3, and now white can't even capture on e3 because of this. Knight takes c2 check. That's why after f takes e3, we have queen d1. And now this pawn on e3 is simply demoralizing white's position. h5, all the time, black is looking for weaknesses in white's camp. Meanwhile, white is moving back his knight on its initial square with the idea of playing c3, a4, c3, and by playing c3, white created another weakness. There it goes, knight b3 is on the board. Rook c2, bishop f5, still white is holding, but of course, victory is a matter of moves. Queen d6, bishop h3, and queen g6. The threat is queen takes g3 check followed by queen f2 checkmate. Here we have g4, h takes g4, rook g1. And as we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find black's next move. Ready? In here, Herais Hidalgo played g takes h3 and sacrificed his queen. Believe me guys, this is a brilliant way of punishing your opponent. Jose Royas, you wanted to troll your opponent? Then get it! H2 and in here white resigned. It turns out that there is no way to stop this pawn, this is crazy. Now if we move like knight d2 in order to meet pawn promotion with knight f1, then simply knight takes d2 and then let's go for another promotion and checkmate this white king. That's why after h2, we have a resignation. Herais Hidalgo simply punished his opponent for those crazy moves and left him no chance to survive. In the end, as usual, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. In the end, here are more suggestions for you. Feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.